Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, you will try to understand uh, important name reaction that is Bergman cycloaromatization reaction. And this was also asked in a CSIR MSc here, uh, CSIR June 2018. Okay, uh, so let's start. Okay, so the question is uh, the structure of intermediate A and the major product B formed in the following reaction are okay so your a is your intermediate and b is your final product okay so you have to find both of them and you have to find the structure actually correct structure of both of them okay uh, now to solve this question we have to know what type of compound is used for this uh, for this reaction that is bergman cycloization or bergman cycloaromatization reaction okay so here is the name reaction uh, this is the name reaction, most important and most popular name reaction. Uh, the substrate which is used in indian system. So, indian system. So, what is indian system? We have to know first. What is indian system? See, there is a structure which is given in the question. Uh, that is an indian system. I'm writing the structure of indian system here. See, this is called indine system. This is your indine system. Okay, now uh, this type of uh, structure, uh, this type of structure tries to undergo in the aromatization process. So you have to, you, you, if you see the uh, options in A, which is given, uh, that is this, 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 and this, and all are aromatic. They all are aromatic, but which was which was the correct intermediate? You have to find that. Okay, uh, so now so let's start the how the reaction proceed. Okay, now see this this go this reaction this type of reaction this type of compound and this type of name reaction uh, undergoes the via radical pathway, and how the radical uh, process occurred? I am writing. Here you can see, okay, like this way. Now, these two are formed here and here and here and here. The both they are formed radical. Now, let's draw the structure. This is a radical, and this here, here there is also formed radical okay now there is a time to recombine them and how to recombine it is this one and this one form this two are not uh, participate in uh, in bond formation just because of uh, they are if if these two participate in bond formation now they have uh, they have satisfying the criteria of aromatization so after that there is a formation of structure like this this two radical okay so now we have uh, already done the structure now we can we have done the structure that is uh, which is given in the a that is your intermediate so this is your intermediate this is your intermediate and from uh, the answers you can uh, you can eliminate you can eliminate the even you can easily answer that this is your a which was which is this is like this this is your a in case of b there is a formation of benzene and here also this is a formation of benzene but there is no possibility of formation of benzene in case of option d uh, there is also formation of radical but this radical uh, two are uh, opposite to each other but these two methyl groups uh, positions are changed but these two methyl uh, groups which is present in the indine system that is a uh, uh, one two position so in the in this question in this option there is a one two three and four one four position okay so this is gonna be your option this is gonna be your option this is gonna be your option so you can easily find that you can easily find that your answer is a but you have to uh, you have structure b also now see 
how the reaction proceed after they are giving this compound this is called tributyl tin deuterated and uh, just like this just like this pu3 snh this is called tributyl tin hydride this is called tributyl tin hydride and there is a replacement of hydrogen uh, replacement of hydrogen by deuterium here now of given pu3 sn t now there is also a, this type of cleavage here so after that there is a formation of deuterated radical which can combine with these two radical okay so if the deuterated radical here then it can combine with this one and it can combine with this one and also this this radical also combine with this one now after the combination of this uh, deuterated structure you have to get structure b and this is your final product of your given question so how easy the question was okay you can easily uh, predict the answer by if you know this concept this is called Parkman cycle division i'm writing here cyclization it's a very important co concept or oh, that is the Parkman cyclization now see there is another importance of this uh, this compound this this is the the indine system uh, which we are talking about and it shows a remarkable anti-tumor activity uh, by the cleavage of uh, double stranded dna so in this structure have a very important activity that is, that is anti tumor activity via the cleavage of cleavage of double stranded dna okay like this now the another concept uh, this is also another concept that is uh, the distance between the distance between these two triple bond the distance between these two triple bond increases if the distance increases like if the triple bonds are one or two carbon away or three carbon away like this this if this distance increases then you have to put higher temperature and you have to this reaction requires a very higher temperature and here in the question there is given only heat and the heat may be in general this in this type of condition the heat generally required 150 to 200 degrees celsius the heat 150 to 200 degrees celsius but in case of uh, in case of this uh, triple bond is uh, either one carbon or two carbon or three carbon away then this uh, uh, this type of uh, cyclo aromatization reaction uh, requires very high temperature but, okay uh, this is all about the reaction now here is a question uh, may arise that this bu3 snd uh, doesn't require any radical initiator there is a no there is uh, in the question there is uh, not given any radical initiator just because of this uh, this here is a formation of these two radical so if this radical will initiate the uh, any re initiate the reaction with the deuterated site okay so this is all about this reaction now there is an important thing that is when uh, right uh, book uh, in this in where, which book you can get uh, this type of reaction and this type of name reaction so uh, for for this you can go through Kaden you can go through I'm writing here you can go through Kaden very much important book uh, you can search the index uh, maybe in the first edition and the first edition the page number uh, near about 1300 most probably you can check in the first edition mind it this first edition and there is also another very good name reaction uh, uh, the book which, which is which I mentioned now that is uh, the name is very much difficult uh, to write now I'm writing this way Kuti and 
Barbara Sacco. This is very important. This, these two are uh, these two person are the writer of this book, and the name, the probably the name of this book is Strategic uh, Strategic Application. Strategic Application of Organic Reaction, maybe organic reaction so i will put this link on the, of this book in the description section you can download over there and i hope this is all about the reaction and see that this is all about the reaction and i hope this video is useful for you and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you for watching see you in another video okay bye